And in Code GUI, there are four different FFmpeg filters that you can use for further video filtering apart from Vaporsynth filters. In this video, we will go over those filters so that you know how to use them. The latest version of Encode GUI as of making this video is version 1.1 which is only available to patrons until October 23rd. You can find more details on how to become a patron for Encode GUI early access updates in the video description. The latest free version of Encode GUI as of making this video is version 1.0.7. Let's go ahead and get started. If you haven't done so already, I highly suggest that you watch the introduction video of Encode GUI and also watch the video guide to video, audio, and subtitle encoding as the content in those videos will be needed to be learned first before attempting the steps in this guide. Once you have watched those videos, you'll be ready to continue further. So once you have selected the source video file, you're going to want to select the video codec you want and configure its settings. Afterwards, go to the video tab and then the FFmpeg tab. The first filter we'll be taking a look at is the resize option. This allows you to resize the video's resolution to anywhere below the source video resolution. Note that this option can't be used if you have resolution upscaling enabled under the Vaporsynth tab. After setting the resolution, you'll also have the option to select a specific resize algorithm. For a high quality resize, you'll want to select the Langsaw's resize algo. The next filter is the rotate option and these settings allow you to flip and or rotate the frames in the video. The first option is the video rotation selection. The next option is to flip the video which is optional. And last is a special option which prevents FFmpeg from automatically rotating videos to landscape orientation that were originally recorded in portrait orientation. The next filter on the bottom is the crop tool. The first option is selecting the output resolution to crop at and below that is the option to select the X and Y coordinates to crop at. The origin is located at the bottom left of the frame. And last but not least, head over to the colors tab and there you will see the sharpening option. The sharpening allows the video to have more bold colors. You can set the size of the sharpening width by adjusting the radius and then adjusting the strength. A higher radius and higher strength will result in a more sharp video. And that concludes everything with regards to the FFmpeg filters in Encode GUI. I hope you find everything in this video useful for your needs and if you need to find out more information, you can do so by visiting the Encode GUI documentation linked in the video description below. Please also consider becoming a patron for Encode GUI so that you can get early access to updates, priority support, and also a dedicated role in this channel's Discord server. Be sure to like and subscribe to the channel so that you won't miss any new video. Regardless, thank you everyone for your support, and I'll see you all next time.